I'm headed right now to downtown. I'm gonna pick up some sweatshirts that were that have been out of stock for over a week that we really been needing some uh, pink mediums the medium specifically but on top of that we're also picking up four shirts for today's project but i'm not doing that unless i have my coffee which i do let's roll so i am on main street right now the next big street is pico but here to the right is where we get our sweatshirts and where everything is at right here like somebody just left. Wait, perfect. We're done here. Got pretty lucky. Found a spot right in front of the uh, the shop. It's always packed here. I always gotta go not fully around the block, but on the next small street, and then walk it over. Put in change into the meter, but not today. All right, let's get back home. We are back to the garage and I'm gonna show you guys uh, two test runs that we've done for this job. This is gonna be a total of four shirts, black and gray in color. I got two different types of shirts that I'm still not sure which one we're gonna use. But anyways, um, somebody hit us up on Instagram, but I'll tell you guys more about how this came to be, what they wanted, what uh, we went through and what we landed on. But here are the first two samples. So this was the first pretty much exactly how they drew it and how they asked for it. Um, it was okay, but it was still missing something. The letters, not that great. This was the second one. We made the hose a little bit bigger, try to get more detail out of it, made windows in the car, but still wasn't quite there. Letters about the same. Now these are the colors that we changed it to. Uh, actually, she wanted the yellow for sure, but uh, we went with the white and the blue outline it's supposed to be bubbles, but I think gives it more contrast as well. We got the window opening. It's a black and gray shirt. So we're probably going to fill that in with gray, a light gray color. Change the wheels to black instead of, instead of having the whole shape being uh, solid. The letters much better. I'm using a thinner needle, a 65.9, I believe it is, which came out really clean. I just need to put up the density a little bit because the thread is thinner. And we showed this to them and they loved it. So we're going to go ahead and embroider it on the shirt. I ended up getting two types of shirts because I'm still not sure which one to use. This one is the Gildan CVC soft style, which is uh, one of the shirts that we use or used to use a lot because it has a softer feel. It's not so rigid and thick, but it's also not crazy thin. Uh, would it be good enough for embroidery? I don't know, I don't know. And we got this one, which is this brand here, Suna, which is like your average kind of like thick, 100% uh, cotton t-shirt. Also like the pretty much original Gildan as well, the one that is 100% cotton. At this point, it's all about preference. Some people prefer these thicker shirts over these. And this one will for sure hold the embroidery much better. But even the shirt that we tested on came out great. There's no puckering and it's one of these, one of the soft styles, uh, Gildan CVC. There's no puckering on there. It is just one sheet. I'm gonna cut it out right now just to see how it looks. Yeah, it looks good. I think we'll go with the soft style CVC. It's a detailing uh, business or a car wash. So, you know, it gets hot in the sun. The 100% cotton t-shirts for sure get hot, so I think they'll like these better. Although uh, the front looks pretty good, the back, there are some areas that you could feel like the thread really pointy. That's because there's too many tie-ins or tie-outs all in the same place. So right here, there's a little bump because this bubble, it ties in and ties out in that same spot right there. We are gonna be putting the tender touch in back of it anyways, but still, the flatter, the better. I was getting the shirts ready and I just realized we're missing two of the sizes that we need. From the Gildans, we only have two shirts of the sizes we need. So what we're gonna have to do is go with these, four shirts, two mediums, two XLs, gray and black, and possibly just throw in the other ones for free and explain to them 
Um, so we did these for you guys. And then, but if you like this style better, which will be the Gildans, then the future will do those. They didn't, uh, they weren't specific about anything. They just pretty much let us uh, do our thing. So uh, we'll explain to them that these are the ones that we had. But if they want to go with the other ones in the future, we can. They'll be free. So, I mean, I think it's a win-win. Hooping a shirt, not much different than the sweater. The only difference is a sweater, you could have it like, once, you, once you're putting the hoop on, you could have it pretty, pretty tight. But a shirt, you kind of just want to tighten it, but without stretching out the fabric that much. Anyways, four fingers down. And then I do a mark for the, the placement, which is about the end of the collar here. We're using our 2.5 stabilizer. It's a little bit stronger. But the shape is easy to cut. We're not gonna have a bunch of jagged edges being cut out. And stabilizers, as soon as you wash them once, they become uh, even softer. We are ready to go. This is the black shirt. So the words, which would be black, now they're gonna be white. That's this one here. That's the um, 60 weight thread on the 65.9 needle. I'm not sure what I said before, but 65.9 for the thin thread. We are going for a do over here. It came out okay. We had been practicing on a white shirt. So when we did it on this black one, uh, some of the mistakes on the white thread show more, which is pretty much uh, fills sticking out. So we're fixing that. A little bit more dense on the white. White uh, is always you know kind of tough because of the back color shows through really easily, especially black. So made it a little bit more dense, made this blue line a little bit thicker. I made the words just a little bit bigger, but they look they look good to me. So we're gonna rerun it. This time it's gonna be on an XL because I am out of mediums. We're gonna have to finish the rest today and then tomorrow just pick up the one medium, finish that off and we'll be done. Today has been a journey. So on that last plan that we talked about, I put the wrong size design on the wrong size color shirt. So I was like, you know what? That's already too many things going wrong. Let's just go get the right shirts. We'll do everything the way that we wanted to in the first place. So we wouldn't go uh, get them. Traffic was horrible. 
I just ran it. There it is. Uh, it's got the hoop burn still. I just finished. I'll be throwing some water on it and it goes away. I think it came out pretty clean. This person reached out to us through Instagram. I forgot what we did for her before, but we had done something else in the past. So she got in contact with us. She was just at first talking about, well, she wants to do a logo on a shirt. So I think she was still drawing this out. She like, I'll send the logo when I have it ready. And then she sent this picture. So I'm guessing she did some kind of like auto vectorizing because the lines are a little like squiggly. So that's pretty much our reference. So it wasn't much to, to work with. That's why we uh, filled up the car a whole solid color because there was nothing to go by. We didn't know if she just wanted these as like satins and that's it. Let the shirt be the color. But as uh, we kept on talking and then we we're talking about uh, the color of the car and all that, which ultimately we ended up on the final that you guys just saw. We got that one done now. We just need to do the other three and we'll be done. Just wanted to show you guys uh, some of these jobs, how they come up. Sometimes they're random. Sometimes you got to go through a, a process. Right now we're working on a towel. I think I mentioned that in the last video for some firefighters. They want 16, I'm sorry, mats. They look like towels, but apparently they're mats. And we're debating the size of it. So at first we give them a prize for five inches in height, the design. Uh, the mat is humongous. It's like 34 by 22 inches. So now they want it much bigger. We're talking about like 12 inches uh, or like around there. It went from like 16,000 stitches to like 66,000 stitches. So then I gave them another price, but they said it doesn't have to be that big. So we're like negotiating how big and the price right now. Uh, but as soon as that's set up, I'll be working on a video for sure. I think they're going to bring us the mats probably. I think he said Monday. Today is Saturday, no, Friday the 23rd. So that'll probably be the next video. Anyways, that's it for this one. If you guys have any suggestions or uh, what you guys would do embroidering t-shirts, uh, you can leave them down in the comments. If you guys like what you saw today, go ahead and like and subscribe. That's it for this one. I appreciate you guys. Deuces.